Hi Libra, welcome in and thank you so much for joining. I wanted to give you an extended reading, a quick whatever comes out. If the messages are not for you, be sure to check your other signs or check back next time. What is the message for Libra? What is the quick message for Libra? Knight of Cups in reverse. Judgment at the bottom of the deck, Three of Swords. So somebody cheated. Somebody pursued the wrong things. They, they either cheated on you or cheated on someone else, okay? Knight of Wands in reverse at the bottom of the deck, the lovers. The grass is not greener wherever they're at, Libra. Kind of like... The Judgment card, the Three of Swords, this is the kind of person that gets themselves in situations that are not good. So Knight of Cups in reverse, there may have been somebody here in the past that did wrong by you, okay? Uh, they have a wandering eye, right? Now, wherever they're at, Libra, they're hurting, Three of Swords. They are definitely recognizing with the Judgment card that they made a ton of mistakes, ton of mistakes. Could be dealing with a uh, Taurus. A Taurus, Aquarius, Scorpio, Leo. I also have Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces here. How does Libra see this person right now? You know they're trapped. You said you done fucked up. So you see them as stuck. You also see them as having the ability to untie themselves from a situation. You see them as somebody who refuses to leave it, a, a situation that they don't even want to be in. So, hmm. How does Libra feel? What are your feelings towards the situation? Just saw the Ace of Pentacles. I feel like a lot of you Libras are just focusing on manifesting things for yourself. Focused on new opportunity. Does seem like you are trying not to get stuck on something. Page of Swords. You feel curious. Like, uh, there's an energy of being curious. Wanting to talk to somebody. Wanting to see what's going on. But you, you know that this person is... It's almost like an energy of you think they're incapable of leaving a situation that doesn't even make them happy for whatever reason. Six of cups at the bottom of the deck for what you don't see. So this person is reminiscing about you. They have good memories here. That they're not the page of pentacles in reverse, four of pentacles. They want to talk to you about these memories. I'm getting like someone wanting to grab drinks or hang out with you and reminisce about the good times with you. They're wanting to share a memory with you, but they're not doing it with the page of pentacles in reverse. How do they see Libra right now? How do they see Libra? How do they see you? That is, you're the one that got away, Six of Swords. They see you as getting away from them. Could be children involved for some of you with that Six of Swords. Doesn't have to be, but it's definitely some baggage they're carrying with them. How do they feel about Libra right now? What are their feelings? Uh, they're upset. They're sad. Five of Cups. They do get sad, Libra, about losing you. What do they want from Libra? What do they want from Libra? Four of Wands. In reverse, Seven of Swords in reverse. They want to go back. This person would have, if they could go back in time, Libra, they would 
count their steps. It's an energy of somebody wishing they would not, they want you back, right? It's an energy of wishing they wouldn't have done the seven of swords in reverse that caused this breakup, that caused this disconnect. I feel like this person is tired of being sneaky. They also feel like they're running out of time. It's an energy of feeling unaccomplished with the four of wands, never meeting a milestone with you. Or not meeting the milestone with you because they sabotaged it and they wish they wouldn't have done that. Pisces energy. They hide this from you. They hide their feelings from you. I just feel like this person hides their feelings in general. It's an energy of not liking. They don't like to share their feelings. But what's so interesting is they crave it. They crave that emotional connection, but they have a hard time sharing feelings with people. What you don't see at the bottom of the deck, the Ace of Pentacles, Six of Cups, the Empress, they would like a fresh start with you. They don't want this love story to be over. But I feel like, for the most of you, this person has done gotten themselves in a situation that they don't even want to pursue anymore. They've gotten tired and bored of this situation. And they're recognizing they made the biggest mistake of their life. And instead of doing something to fix it, they're just sitting here being sad, reminiscing over you and what could have been, and seeing you as the one that got away. I must say, I feel like this person's actually afraid to start over with you, even though they want to. Because the moon is here, there's a fear of starting over. There's a fear of reliving the same mistakes. There's a fear of sabotaging it. What do they like about Libra? What do they like about you? What do they like about Libra? Queen of, ooh, they like when you're mad. They like your personality. I'm also getting like, for some reason, guys, this person likes when you're, you're feisty. They like it when you're feisty. They, they like it when you show signs of jealousy. If you, you know, that's very strange, but that's what they like about you. They like when you're feisty. They like when you're jealous. They, they might just feel important making people jealous. Okay. But I'm also getting your funny, like, you know, you got a sense of humor that they really like. It could be a dark sense of humor for a lot of you. They really like that about you. Yeah, the death card. They like your dark sense of humor. I'm also getting they find you very attractive. The only problem I have with this person is they find you attractive, but they have a hard time making you feel attractive. That seven of swords in reverse, somebody could have narcissistic personality. Now, not everybody is a narcissist, okay? I know that word gets thrown around a lot. But for some of you guys, this person could display those tendencies. They could display that uh, some type of personality disorder. Clarify the queen of wands. You know, I don't like this. They, you know, it's almost like someone likes that you don't see how special you are. They see how special you are, but they don't want you to see how special you are. They like your patience with their bullshit. The Ace of Swords in reverse, the Knight of Pentacles. You may have displayed a lot of patience with somebody's lying in the past that they don't get now. And I'm getting it was because you genuinely cared about this person, uh, your loyalty to them with the Page of Pentacles, even though they gave you no reason to be loyal to them with the Ace of Swords in reverse. 
they don't get the same loyalty where they're at as they did from you. What's their next actions towards Libra? What's their next actions towards Libra? Their next actions towards Libra. Seven of Cups. Uh, they want to clear the air with you. Their next actions, though, I'm getting like sending you mixed signals. So I see communication coming from this person, possibly while you're at work or while they're at work. And, and it's telling me they want to beat a dead horse. They want to beat a dead horse. Like it's almost an energy of doing the same things over and over again. But they would like to revisit some type of conflict and clear the air with you. I'm getting a particular situation between you two that they would like to clear the air about. However, it only leads to further confusion because this person still doesn't know what they want. Their next actions are just to really fantasize and daydream about communicating with you. But I don't necessarily see them doing it right now today. But I do feel like they will in the future. What is their hidden truth? Spirit, what is this person's hidden truth? You could be connecting with, I have Aquarius, Taurus, Leo, Scorpio, Pisces, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, Aries, Leo, it could be any sign, guys. That they're in pain. They still feel pain of the situation. Somebody's got a lot of emotional baggage that they never dealt with. I feel like this person was not healed when you met them. This person was in pain when you guys met. They were in pain about their past. And when we don't heal from our past pains, we end up bleeding all over the people we care about. Making their pain also your pain. Their hidden truth. That you didn't see their tears. That they have cried over this. Again, they have a hard time showing those emotions. I feel like they cried in secret. Could have been some drinking involved with this crying with the five of cups. It does look like if they are a drinker, when they do drink, they are crying. It does make them emotional. Some of you guys with the five of cups, the moon, it's almost like somebody may need a substance to be comfortable with their emotions, to be comfortable with expressing their emotions. Somebody might be struggling with addiction because of that. You speak to this person through music, so there are songs that they hear and that they play that help them think about you, um, that cause all these memories to come flooding back to the surface. You guys could have shared a song together. Um, this is this person's very sad, Libra. Okay, they are very upset over you getting away from them. They're very upset over you not being in their life anymore. All right, Libra, those are your messages. This was your quick extended reading. I hope you got some clarity out of it. Keep in mind, if the messages did not resonate, leave them for someone else. You can check your other signs or check back next time. Thank you all so much for hitting the thumbs up. I really appreciate all of your support. And until next time, bye.